Hello everyone, we're here today with Dr. Töpp, Hello. the German expert on the Battle of Kursk and we talk about something I got wrong, I think it was in my shift in interview on the tank fest, namely if the Battle of Kursk was interrupted due to or was abandoned basically or stopped Operation Zitadelle due to the invasion of Sicily by the Western Allies. Yeah, so, so there's a very simple and clear answer. No, the um, Operation um, Husky, the Allied invasion of Sicily, had no direct effect on the Battle of Kursk. Uh, the problem is that Hitler told Manstein this. Manst it's, it's, everyone quotes Manstein and says Manstein is in the, uh, at the Führer Hauptquartier and Hitler tells him I have to uh, break off the offensive because I need the forces for uh, Italy and, and so Manstein believes that and and this is not only memoir stuff. I have um, the original um, um, Manstein war diary and he is almost exactly what he writes in his memoirs he, al he already wrote in his original diary. And the point is that uh, Hitler told him thus that because he, he didn't want to argue with him. If he had said, no, I have to break off the offensive because I, I need these forces to, uh, to, um, to, to conquer the, the, the Soviet offensive at Areol or in the Donetsk Basin, Manstein would have started an argument. So what does Hitler usually do? He does this very often with Manstein if he wants to avoid a discussion. He goes to a different level. He goes to an economic level. Mm -hmm. He goes yeah. to a strategic level. And to, to stop Manstein... Uh, in his shoes, or what the English expression is, he says, we don't have to discuss this, I need the forces for Sicily, and we have to break off the offensive. But actually, when you look at the, the, the files, and no, not a single the German unit is drawn from the Eastern Front to Sicily, uh, it had, I repeat, it is a very simple question. In reality, the Allied landing uh, on Sicily had no direct effect on the Battle of Kursk. Well, I'm very sorry for that mistake. I'm also planning on doing a video in the future where I try to correct all the mistakes I made oh. over the years. <laughs> it could take quite a while because I mean, and but the the interesting part here is that to a certain degree the delay yeah. of the Kursk exactly. operation was actually influenced yeah. by the fear of an Allied invasion. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's quite ironic that because sometimes people quote that Hitler waited for the tiger and the panther and delayed Operation Zitadelle due to this, but and the others note that he broke it off due to Sicily, so mm -hmm. actually in a certain degree it's the other way around. Yeah, and this is actually a quote, you can uh, read it in these conversations during the conferences, uh, Hyber conferences, when Hitler says um, on the 26th when he sends the Leibstandarte because Mussolini is toppled, yeah, and um, and, and uh, he sends the Leibstandarte, but, but for political reasons, not for military reasons, for political reasons. And he said, I, oh, I have feared this all the time. And that, that is why I didn't want to start uh, the, the Kursk offensive in May. I feared that we need forces from the Eastern Front. But now we have enough forces there already. We don't have to withdraw forces from the Eastern Front because we have enough uh, forces. But I need the Leibstandarte for political reasons. Yeah, because they will impress the Italians, yeah, our... Guard and yeah. So similar to the Africa Corps, yeah, which was also sent there for political reasons. Yeah. So it, it is forgivable because Manstein wrote it in his in his memoirs and he really believed it and he even writes it in his original war diary. But it's not the case. Uh, it had no direct impact on Kursk. Okay. I hope we cleared up this one. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.